Hello everybody and welcome to the Secret of Puffin Cove. My name is Mr. One Sheep and today we are playing a VR game that basically has the aim of trying to help you improve in your English uh, by having you speak with an AI, but it's set in a VR world. Well, there he is. Look at the boy. I cannot believe my luck. You can see ghosts. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really curious actually how this is going to work out. My name is Sir Francis Drake and I'm here to help you. Now it's time to wake up our tour guide. We need him to get to the old lighthouse. So the devs have said if this actually is successful in any way, that their ideal situation would be to make some sort of Secret of Monkey Island <laughs> kind of game, like a huge island that you can interact with everyone. And I think that would be so cool. But uh, so yeah, let's just try this out and see. There you go, I rang the bell. Oh my, he is as deaf as a post. Check that chair in front of you. What, this one? Oh, <laughs> gonna wake him up with a megaphone. Wake up! <laughs> Don't want to give this guy a heart attack. What the heck? <laughs> Careful with that. You gave me a good oh fright. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting Texas speech. Don't worry. I'm okay. My name is Finnegan, but you can call me Tim. <laughs> I guess it needs to be Texas speech because he's probably gonna respond to stuff Sorry, I say. Sorry, but my hearing aid ran out of batteries, and without it, I am as deaf as a stone. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I think I know what they're doing here. So, it seems like you will need to use that megaphone to talk to <laughs> me. Good. So he won't actually hear everything I'm saying to you guys. So I can say his hat to looks stupid. It, all you need to do is to press the yeah, yeah, yeah. button on I your know, I did it already. And talk normally. <laughs> I sound more like a pirate than this guy. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> say something. All right. Army matey. Let's get some gold. Good. I can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, how are you feeling today? So, I want to just test the capability of this. Let's just see. I mean, I don't know how advanced this AI is. Obviously, with AI learning, it gets better the more people use it. But let's just try this out. Um, I'm good. How are you? Let's see if he responds. Um, okay. <laughs> is that... I heard you came here, not just for the boat trip, but also to practice your English. Am I correct? I, do I want to... Not really. I know English pretty well. It's not going to be that advanced. I'm just teasing it here. Well, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Mr. Sassy Pirate. I noticed pirate. your accent. It sounds familiar. Which country are you from? Uh, I, is my accent anything? I don't know, I've been told all my life that I have an American accent, an English accent, because I don't have any of them. But let's just, let's just humor him, okay? Let's just tell him where I live. Cyprus. It's not a Cypriot accent at all, but let's see what he does with it. Are you sure that is a country? Well, <laughs> no worries. I am born in Wales, but raised in the United States. Rude. Rude. May I you know, know what brings you to our Cyprus. lovely coast? Are you here for some holidays, or is it work? Uh, I mean, this is work for me, his YouTube channel, but I'm also enjoying it, so let's just say holidays. Good to hear that. Let me be your guide, and I will show you many beautiful places around. Thanks, you will man. not regret it. I love the aesthetic. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? Uh, I make movies. <laughs> let's just do that, shall we? Oh, look, it actually writes here what I'm saying. I didn't realize that. Well, my friend, I do not envy you. Here at Pirate Tours, I have an ocean view office with a nice cozy sofa and unlimited amounts of tea. It does look... Oh, unlimited tea? Can I get some of that? Well, today we will be taking the boat to see the old lighthouse at Morwin Point. But first we will need to check the weather report. I think I left it on the chair in front of you. Could you please tell me what it says? Mostly sunny, oh my god, mostly sunny, temperature 16 degrees and calm seas. Let's see if we got all of that. Mostly sunny, oh my god, mostly sunny temperature is Excellent. 60 degrees. No, 60! Sunny days are perfect for sailing. Not 60 degrees, that's awful! Nasty surprises. Our trip today will take us to the old lighthouse. Can you see it in the picture? It's hanging on the wall, right behind me. Uh, oh, behind you, there. Yes. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> He's a bit slow, but, you know. Hold on a second. Could you please close the door? My feet are getting a bit cold with the sea breeze. Sure, pal. I wish I had a second hand in this game. 
Ah, oh, nice and cozy, uh, no. That's much, much better. Where's my megaphone? I agree, friend. So, have you found the lighthouse picture? Yes, it's behind you. Lighthouses are impressive buildings, especially this one. Do you know what they are used for? Um... To help ships see in the ocean. Ship see? <laughs> um, interesting answer. As Dude, I'm not know, the one who's weird here. The lighthouse here. helps guiding ships to arrive to port safely. Sure, yeah, that's what I said, not basically. not any common lighthouse. What are you smoking what in I'm there, about dude? to tell you may sound a bit weird. Uh-huh. Go Fishermen on. Fishermen tell stories about experiencing strange storms and seeing a mysterious shadowy ship haunting the waters around the lighthouse. Oh, boy. It sounds spooky. The Golden Hind wasn't just the fastest galleon of its time. Mm -hmm. It also had a very important role on the war against the mighty Spanish Armada. So is the Golden Hind an actual real ship? Is this history lesson as well? I thought this was English. If you turn on the light, you will be able to see my model replica of this legendary ship. I can see The it. light switches on the wall behind you, to the left. I can, sorry, I can see it anyway. Yeah, I turned it That's on. That's better. The ship is inside the glass cabinet to your right. Do you see it? By the way, sometimes it might seem like maybe the game is a little bit janky, but this is meant for younger kids who are not very proficient in English. So it's, I, I think this is actually really cool. It just, it might be a little bit awkward because this is like the beginning of this technology, basically. Yes, I see it. I think it's really cool, honestly. I would love a whole Monkey Island-esque adventure this ship, like this. It would be and so not cool. far from here, Captain Francis Drake and his men sent a good amount of Spanish ships to the bottom of the sea. Damn, Drake. You know, my wife, Martha, wants me to donate the scale uh -huh. model to the town museum. What do you think I should do? What? The museum can deal without it. If it Keep it if it makes you happy. My good friend, I forgot your name. You're a good, you're a good friend of I mine. I agree. I mean, how can I possibly give away this piece of history? Yeah. Honestly, it would break my heart. Yeah, man. No, dude. You got a, and you've got a heart. I, you look like a puppet, Sorry, but, I, but with you're all like our Pinocchio, chat, you know, you're I a real person. I really forgot to tell you. The cost of our trip will be 30 coins. Ooh. A small price for a great adventure. That's all my money. That's all, we can that's go all now, my money. Or if you prefer it, I can tell you more interesting stories about any of the incredible objects in this room. What do you want to do? Uh, tell me about the light bulb. <laughs> the least interesting object. Can you tell me anything about it? Do you know much about the light bulb, dude? Okay. Uh, oh. Look around and tell me. Oh. Which object do you want to know about? Tell me about the lamp. It looks interesting. <laughs> what, is it from Ikea? Well, that's my ceiling lamp. I got it from a street market. <laughs> oh, what Any a other object that you want to know about? Um... The family photo. Is that you in there? <laughs> of course it is. I don't know what question that is. I took that picture last year here at Morwen Bay. Oh. That's my wife Martha and my boy, Finnegan Jr. The wife is on the right, right? And the, the boy on the left? I love your curiosity. If you find any object to be specially interesting, you can keep asking me more questions about it. I wish I could ask him about his hat, but that's not an object. Uh, what do you use the stove for? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's going to talk about his favorite food or something? I use the stove tea? to warm up the office and to make my tea. Infinite tea. He already told me about this. What was the stupid me, question? Is there any other object that interests you? No. Can we go now? Oh, I should have maybe asked him about the portrait, but that's okay. We know about Drake. We're friends with him. If you want to start our trip, you should put the coins inside the small treasure chest that is on the table to your right. Ah, Which you other go. object do you want to know about? Nothing. I said let's Great. go. Great. Time you. to start our adventure. Woo! Vocabulary. Try using synonyms of commonly used words to improve your score even more. Speaking is a bit hard to follow you. Try speaking at a more regular pace. Okay, I'll, follow, I'll try speaking a little bit slower. You are doing good to improve further. You misspelled further, by the way. Clearly describe your intents when talking. See? I got an A-level of, of English, English, English. 
I got A's. Whatever, it's again, developing technology. But you should really fix typos in the game that you're trying to teach English. Well, I won't take this personally, Mr. Uh, Pirate Man over there. Oh, here we are. Wow. Welcome oh, that's a tiny the house. The seven seas. Hey, man. Ooh, I'm actually excited here. Favor today. The winds will be in our favor. Out of curiosity. Have you ever been on a boat before? I've been on a big ship once. Yes. It's like I've got, I've got a real friend here, finally. Great. I have, I have someone to talk now to. Now I know for sure you will not fall overboard if we got hit by a road wave. <laughs> Is that the way it works? Just because I've been on a ship Allow once? Me a little question before mm -hmm. we got into deeper waters. Sure, pal. Nothing to worry, but can you tell me anything about oh sharks? My God. Um, sharks are fish, not mammals. Look at his teeth. Wow, you seem to know a lot about sharks. <laughs> because I said sharks are fish. I don't mean to scare you, but... Mm -hmm. I will suggest to keep your hands inside the boat at all times. Oh my, my god, dad why? lost the tip of his middle finger to a shark oh, while god. trying to retrieve a fishing net from the sea. Oh boy. That's kind of scary. Why would you Many tell me that? later, he admitted to us that he was a little bit, um, intoxicated at day. And he <laughs> fell asleep on the boat with his hand dipped into the water. Aww, uh, typical pirate. You wouldn't do that, would you, no Mr. No story? Name? Never to get drunk on a boat or sharks may bite your fingers off. Hee hee hee. Can you see anything, um, unusual? Um, I don't know if you, I mean, you live next to it, but there's a big shipwreck next to us. You've probably seen it, but I'll just tell you in case you haven't. Yeah, you okay. See, it's the wreckage of a cargo ship called the Goliath. Okay, he knows. The Goliath? It happened on the early 80s. Rumors on the, the early 80s? The of the Goliath crashed his ship against the rocks after trying to avoid a ghostly ship. You can't crash on the 80s. <laughs> but to me... What you see here is more likely the result of bad weather, and a tired captain. Was he drunk too? Oh man, I'm never drinking on the boat. Only cars. Was the Goliath victim of a ghost ship? Or do you think that it was just an accident? Definitely a ghost ship. 100%. <laughs> a ghost ship on well, launch. Well, maybe something supernatural happened. Yep. One thing is clear though. We will never know for sure. Talking about ghosts, I know this joke. What is a ghost's favorite dessert? Oh man, he sounds like a ghost now. Uh, what is a ghost's favorite dessert? I know the answer. Pudding. <laughs> Ice cream. Not <laughs> coding. You know like- Ice cream? There. Oh. Ice cream. Oh. Um, sorry. By the way, oh. do you like ice cream? <laughs> I love ice cream. Oh, it's getting thundery now. I don't know if th this might not be the game that's jittering. The game isn't playing nice with my recording software, so that might be the my issue. My favorite flavor is pistachio. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, oh, no. Wait a minute. That's not possible. Rain. Oh my god. Rain? Oh no. Here Why is it getting dark? Here is you about four seasons in one day. It's funny. <laughs> Do you remember what the weather report said? Uh, I believe it said it was sunny. Not rainy. So that's kind of weird, right? Why is it raining now when it said it... I believe it said it was sunny, not raining. Okay, good, good, good. Exactly. Good. Exactly. Fair, mostly sunny is not the same as completely sunny, or do not expect a drop of rain sunny. That's fair. That's true, dude. That's a good point, my Does friend. Does it rain much where you live? <laughs> Absolutely not, man. Never. But you said Cyprus isn't a real country, well, so apparently it doesn't... let's keep it positive. <laughs> Think about how much you are about to learn about rain today. I mean, I don't need to learn about rain. I know of its existence. Um, it's getting quite thundery. And a little oh. bit air wavy. Oh, no. I hope you are not afraid of sudden, unexpected storms. <laughs> he sounds so messed are you? up. Um, <laughs> who isn't? Right? A sudden, a sudden unexpected storm while you're in a tiny boat? Well, who wouldn't um, be? Interesting. Are you? Uh, yes. It will be fine. 
This boat has seen much worse. Oh, this is prison. such a nightmare to listen to. Here we are. I need to show you something cool. Back in the 80s, when I was a in the 80s, so you know it's correct. I left like my that. mark with a graffiti on to this rusty wreck. Oh my god, there it is. If you look to the left and then up, you will be able to see the graffiti. It's written all over the ship's bridge. Yeah, Do you Finn. See it? Finn loves Martha. You love your wife, but she does not love him back, or she does not love Martha. Yeah, I see it. It says Finn loves Martha. That's cute, vandalizing a ship for your lover. Great. That's a pirate thing to do, man. Could you nice. Please tell me what the graffiti says. Oh yeah, I already said. Yeah, okay. I'm overcomplicating this a little bit. Finn loves Martha. She does not. And I think it says ha ha ha, but let's not tell him that. Spot on. Back Spot in the day, on. Tom Brennan was jealous of me dating Martha and tried to sabotage my graffiti. Oh no! It was a sabotage. Guess which handsome sailor got the girl at the end? Ha <laughs> <laughs> my man! High five! High five, well, dude! Better get moving before we drown. High five, dude! You know, that's the thing about British <sighs> weather. Have you ever heard the expression four seasons in one day? Alright, we need to end it here because. The oh, it's getting so stormy! Oh, okay. Oh, great. I got another C. Wonderful. <laughs> I think the recording software is not playing well with the game, so. I'm actually gonna try finish this off camera, but there you go. You got a preview of the game. As I said earlier, uh, the game's English is pretty rudimentary. Also, I'm talking to an AI. Like this stuff needs to learn and get better over time. Um, and obviously, my English is more advanced than it's expecting, I guess. But I think this is a really cool first step. And in VR, I can imagine how excited kids would be to just learn stuff. I know that any chance I got to learn in a video game, like I had some Aladdin math quest game and all that stuff, that was a lot more enjoyable than just like listening to a teacher talk. So this is a really cool first step. So I wish the devs good luck in it, and I would love to see a proper full-on game with many NPCs that you could talk to, even if it's just like this rudimentary English. I think it's just fun to to interact with an AI in VR. I think it's really cool. And the aesthetic is great, the music is interesting. Look at those socks. He's wearing socks with slippers. Please don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe for socks and slippers. I'll see you next time.